In today's video, we're taking a look through my winter empties. Which are the products that I have repurchased or will repurchase and which ones just didn't make the cut? Let's get started. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining today. Today is another empties video and I, I quite enjoy these because it helps me in my planning and looking at stuff that and kind of reevaluating what are the things that I really, really liked because I'm always experimenting. So in order for me to repurchase something, I have to really, really like it. So I have something, can kind of all the categories that I'm generally tinkering with. I have stuff for hair, I have things specifically for the face and neck, I have body care and I have things for the hands. Okay, starting off with the hair. So I'm kind of doing this in the order of my day, starting off in the shower. The first thing I do every morning is I shampoo my hair. Now, if you've been here before, you're not gonna be surprised by this. I'm talking about my new wash, my beloved new wash. And I actually think there's a fourth one of these around. I started using this system maybe five or six months ago. It is the only thing that I use to clean my hair. I get a new one every month and I love it. I do think there's a fourth one around here somewhere. And as I was going through all of these last night, going through my own garbage can, so I realized there were little bits of the product left and I was squeezing it out out of all of these into my little travel bottle, which is great because I'm getting ready to go to the States this week. Um, and it's like finding gold, you know. I had actually already discarded them and I found a little bit, probably another two or three washes, so happy days. Love this product, love this product, love this product. So when it comes to repurchasing, I'm on an automatic refill. It just shows up every month, hallelujah. Okay, next I have two different hair masks actually. And the first is by a company called Bold Unique and it is part of their Bold Plex range. Now, they had sent me a kit last year that had the shampoo, the conditioner, and this hair mask. I loved them all. Um, and I used the shampoo and conditioner completely. I actually, in fact, did a whole video about it and really, really loved the range. It sort of competes in that same space as Olaplex with bond repair products. Now, I'm not using traditional shampoo and conditioner anymore because of my new wash. So I finished those up, but I didn't repurchase. However, this I absolutely love. I do a hair mask twice a week. I do one on a Wednesday and I do one on a Sunday. And this is one of the products that I had in rotation. I love it. I think it's fantastic. The only reason I haven't repurchased it is because I have a couple others that I'm getting through, but I very likely will. And it is a fantastic product worth looking into. The next one is another hair mask that I had in rotation. And this one is by Brio Gio. It is called the Don't Despair Repair. I also bought a kit, which was a shampoo, conditioner, and a mask. And I used both the shampoo and the conditioner. And again, didn't repurchase only because I'm not reusing. And and this one I just finished up kind of in the same period as the other because I was rotating them. I do one on a Wednesday and one on a Sunday. And I also loved this product and this is a product that I would repurchase but again haven't because I have two other here in the house that I'm still using. But products that I love and I can recommend. Okay, next we're moving on to body care and I have quite a few in this space. Um, Starting off with the cleansers. This is one that I have by L'Occitane. It is their almond oil shower oil. And I really love this product. And my friend Mari always buys this for me. She's so sweet. I get it for birthdays and Christmases and stuff. And while it is empty, I get the, the refillable thing. So it's actually gonna get refilled here as soon as I'm done filming and go back in the shower. So I actually already have more of that and I love it. So the next body wash is by Ven. And this was a discovery by Skincare Steve over on Instagram, who just said this is one of the greatest things Ever, and I have to agree. This is their symbiotic polyamine body wash, which is a pre and a probiotic sort of microbiome balancing product. I've already repurchased this and it's sitting in the shower. So I love it. It's not an insignificant spend. It's about 32 euros, I think, for this. Now it is a whopper. It is 13 ounces, 400 mils, um, but so incredibly worth it. And I love it. So thank you, Steve. I have two products here from a company called Mother Sage, um, and they are a CBD skincare company or CD, CBD product company, actually. And this is their body butter, and it is long gone, and it is a glorious product. And CBD is something that I'm interested in and I'm still learning about. I do think it's going to become more popular and more prevalent, and I've just enjoyed getting to speak with the company and to learn more about it. But this body butter is glorious. It's not really a body butter. I don't think it's named properly. It's more of a body balm and it leaves just this beautiful, beautiful soft skin. Now, I did try to go and repurchase this a week or so ago and they were sold out of it. To all of my American viewers, I'm so sorry. They do not sell this product there. It's only available in the UK and Ireland. Um, so if you are on this side of the pond, it is absolutely worth the purchase. And I think you need to go and look into it because it just does heavenly things for your 
your body. The next one also comes from Mother Sage. It's their anti-cellulite and slimming gel. I have three. There's a fourth that I can't seem to find. So I've repurchased this quite a few times and it's using CBD, it's using caffeine, a number of things that are supposed to help with cellulite. Now I think this stuff works as you can see because I keep repurchasing it and I just realized that I'm out and I need to purchase more and I will repurchase it. I think it's working. It's something that you have to be consistent with, but over time you can actually feel this kind of tightening, almost like a, not a burning, but you can feel this product like it's doing something when it hits your skin and I really, really like it. So yes, I will be repurchasing those. Okay, this was sort of a surprise product. This one is by a company called CEO and I already use their, um, medical grade silicone patches and you can put them on various parts of your body in order to plump and it tends to be sort of a short short term thing if you use it over time it's supposed to be longer lasting but you put these things on I have a chest pad and I also have them for my hands that you put them on you leave them on for four hours you leave them on overnight and it plumps up your skin it's creating moisture sort of pulling the moisture from your skin to the surface and it helps to plump things up and I really really like the product so the company sent me this to try out and it is their cryo body cream and the ingredient list is lovely it's packed with glycerin which I absolutely adore and lots of anti anti Oxidants and it just feels really nourishing to the skin. So I have polished this guy off and all gone. It does have more of a scent than I would prefer that it had, but it left my skin feeling lovely. And I'm really glad they sent me two because <laughs> I'm going to open up the next one and put that into the bathroom. So I thought it was a beautiful product. And the last one is in the shaving space. And this one is by EOS, which is Evolution of Skin. And it was one of my favorites. This is their Shea Butter Shave Cream. Now, the vanilla version of this is one I've used for years. And every time I went back to the States, I bring it back. And, and I hadn't purchased it in quite some time until I went back in October. And I've just finished it off. And I don't know. I don't love it as much as I used to. I'm not exactly sure why. It might be the razor that I'm using is, is just requiring something different, so it's not one that I'm gonna be repurchasing, which is good to know because I'm heading to the States and I would have bought it again, and I don't think I need to. So next we're moving on to skincare. And when I say that, I mean for this part of the body. So everything that goes on my face also goes on my neck and my chest and the backs of my hands. So there are a couple of things happening here. Now the first was this cleanser by Beauty Pie. It's called their Super Healthy Skin Hot Oil Double Cleansing Balm. I loved this product and I was surprised how much I love this product. And you put it on, it's kind of gloopy when you put it on your face, but it heats up. I mean, you can feel the heat on your skin. I don't know how it works. And then you emulsify it and it just turns into this oily mess. It is fabulous. Really, really good at removing your makeup. And if I could buy this here in Ireland, I would have purchased this over and over and over again. But Beauty Pie, now that they have left the EU, it's really expensive for me to purchase anything from Beauty Pie. So this probably only runs about 10 or 11 pounds or dollars, depending on where you are. But for me to get it to here in Ireland, it would probably end up costing me 20. And that's just crazy, you know, because I have to pay import, I have to pay mail forwarding, I have to pay duties and insurance and all sorts of crap. So I haven't actually purchased from Beauty Pie in ages, and, and I really like their products. But ever since they left the EU, fucking Brexit, I don't really buy them anymore. So if I could find another way or if they could establish some sort of EU presence, hallelujah, I'd be all over it. Okay. So next up are these guys, and I probably have more of them. I talk about them all the time. I love mists. I like putting extra hydration in my skin throughout the day. My skin loves it. It's just the way it goes. And this by La Roche-Posay, which is their Tolarian Ultra 8. It's just kind of glycerin in a bottle. <laughs> it's just refreshing. And I sort of have these all over, and I have them in purses and you know different floors in my house, and I just love it. So there's always these that floating around. So if you're looking for a little extra hydration throughout the day, it's a beauty. I use it over makeup. Bob your uncle can't go wrong. Okay, so when we're looking at the skincare sort of regular usage, there are two things that have happened to me um, over the past three or four months, maybe a little longer. I did a video, I think, sort of in the fall, talking about how I have really damaged my skin. I think there was just too much product going on, just too much experimentation, and I completely destroyed my barrier. So I was sort of in desperation mode and trying to figure out what I needed to do in order to fix it. Now, there happens to be a, a gal on YouTube here that I follow, Aloha Jen is her name, and I've been watching her for a long time. She's an esthetician in California, and I've been following her for a long time because she has great tutorials using anti-aging devices, particularly the MyLift. So I must have watched her MyLift training sort of videos 40, 50 times as I was learning how to use that particular device. 
So I remember her saying at some stage that she'd stopped experimenting with everything and she was only using one range. So I kind of went back and figured out what that was. I contacted the company directly and said, do you do any kind of consultation? Because I, I just need some help with my skin. And the company that I'm talking about is called Bella Aura and they are based in Canada. And I have five of these here. And by the way, I've repurchased them all and they're sitting, they're sitting here and I've used all of the products. I stopped everything. And, um, what happened was with my consultation is that when they signed you up for a zoom and I logged into the zoom and up pops Aloha Jen, which I thought was hilarious because I'd watched her loads of times. So at any rate, she helped me put together a plan and sort of encouraged me to stop everything. So I did skin fasting for four days where I didn't put anything on my skin and I started rebuilding. And I started rebuilding using two of their, what are my still my favorite products. One is their Hydro Revive treatment and the other is their Daily Repair Moisturizer. And I just used those two, I think, for weeks. And then I slowly started adding other products to the range. You know, one is their Instant uh, Eye Lift Contour Cream is fantastic. And they have two other kind of heavier hitting products, like just their Night Cellular Renewal and another one called the, the Multi-Wrinkle Minimizer. Now, I haven't probably used those long term enough to know what the real benefits are, but I loved the range. I've repurchased them all multiple times. They ain't cheap, but they're good. So that's been a really good range for me. And like I said, I have repurchased them and they're sitting here. Now, that leads me to the next piece, which is S. Okay, so this is an entirely different range of products by a company called S, and they are based in South Africa. They asked me if I would use their 30-day rewild program, and all of their products are natural. They're, they farm them themselves. The whole purpose of their range is to restore our skin's natural biome. So the idea that you know our face, our skin, is just an ecosystem, and we need to keep that balanced, and we need to feed it in the right ways, and that's using prebiotics and probiotics and all that stuff that we need to physically feed our skin. So it's not using any of the crazy actives, all of that stuff. I've stopped all of that for the time being, and for 30 days, uh, well, it's actually 40 days now, I've been using just their system. It has a cleanser, a toner, a moisturizer, an eye cream, and an oil. And I have loved them. I have repurchased their eye cream multiple times as well as the sensitive toner. Now I didn't have enough product to last the 30 days, so they sent me another pack so that I could finish it out. And that's really what I've been using solely now since the beginning of January. So I will be doing a review on that, but I have repurchased these as well, and I think they're great products. So when it comes to the skincare, those are the two ranges, both of which I love and have used extensively for months and months and months. Now, you might be asking which I'm going to repurchase when I'm done with this rewilding program. And that's a really good question. <laughs> I will be doing that video at the end of the month and having to make some serious decisions then. But these ranges are both beautiful. Okay, so that's kind of the skincare thing with two other additions, and one is in the eyelash serum space. This is Revitalash, an eye conditioning serum that is meant to make the eyelashes grow longer. Yes, it does, and it totally works. I did a video on this too. Now, I didn't repurchase this because it's freaking expensive, and I wanted to see what other alternatives there are out there. So I've been using UK Lash as of the last month or so, which is also working very well. So in general, I think the eyelash serums work. Revital Ash, without a doubt, as does UK Lash. There would never be a video without me including a sunscreen because that's just the way that I roll and I wear it every day. And two empties I have here. The first is probably my holy grail. This is the one I probably purchased more than any other sunscreen on the planet. This is by Elta MD. It's their UV Clear Broad Spectrum SPF 46 Tinted. I think I've probably purchased this 20 times. I love it. It keeps my skin hydrated, it's a little bit luminous, and it just means there's no white cast. It's beautiful. It's already repurchased, and it's what I'm wearing today. The other one is by Dermatology, and this is their Tinted Moisturizer SPF 46. I love it. It is a great value. This runs about 25 US dollars. I love this because, again, it's tinted. I find it highly moisturizing. It does great things for my skin. The only reason I haven't repurchased it yet is because it has to get shipped in from the US, and I don't want to do that. Now, the beauty is I'm going over to the US this week, so I will probably pick some up and ship it to mom's house and bring it back with me because it's beautiful. If you live in the US, you should give this a try. The last two items on the list today are for your hands. Now the first is this teeny tiny little nail oil by CND which is the guys behind shellac. 
and I pick these up when I get my nails done and I probably use a nail oil once or twice a day. I just use it on my fingers and my toes. It keeps all the cuticles in good condition. They cost about a fiver and I think there's two over there. So yes, it has already been replenished. And the last is my Holy Grail hand lotion and this is by Aveda and trust me, I've tried them all. I am so about the hand lotion. This is their hand relief. I love it so, and I actually got two of them for Christmas. I got one for my daughter, one for my sister-in-law, so yay! Um, I keep one downstairs. In fact, here it is. It's always right next to me, and I have one downstairs in the kitchen. So I probably put this on about 15 times a day. I'm sure you can ask my coworkers every time we have a Zoom call, which is twice a day. I'm always putting, <laughs> putting it on when we're on the call. Don't ask me why. So that's the last item in this. I'm looking down at this huge collection of stuff all over my desk. Um, it's a good amount of product. I'm sure Gary wants to vomit right now <laughs> with the amount of money that is spent on this desk right this moment. But oh, it's the beauty of the channel. I do love it. So let me know if you've tried any of these products. Are these winners for you? Are they losers? Um, are there any other products you think I should try? Please let me know and put your comments down below because I love hearing from you. And if you like the look of this video, please do subscribe to my channel. Give the video a thumbs up and hit the notification bell so you know when new videos are uploaded every week. So thank you so much for joining today and I will see you at the next video. Bye. I'm kind of doing this in the order of my, I'm kind of doing, I'm kind of fucking up. <laughs>